everybody welcome back to my channel you've got me in stitches I'm Anna and I hope you're having a really really wonderful day it's September 5th I'm going out meeting up with a buddy of mine and we're gonna go around a couple of stores and maybe do a little bit of thrifting see where the day takes us and I will take you along with me and where allowed I will do a little bit of filming okay catch you soon okay guys so I have just come out of the store it wasn't actually that big and I wasn't really able to film I'm afraid however that said I did purchase some little goodies so in a bit I will show you what I got and yeah I just thought the store was going to be a lot a lot bigger than it actually was but, you know, just one of those things. Okay, catch you in a bit. Hey guys, so I have just come to another beautiful fabric store and look who's greeting me. Isn't he a cutie pie? Not every day when you go to a fabric store is it? You get greeted by such a little cutie. Yeah. Look at these absolutely stunning, stunning fabrics. Look at these guys as well. Little squirrels. They're going to send me nuts, aren't they? I think everybody can recognise that border print fabric. Isn't it gorgeous? Really, really, really love that. These absolutely gorgeous fabrics. See, I'm in heaven now. That's it now. I'm spoilt for choice. I just like... I'm going to end up, I think, buying the whole store. Uh-oh. There we go. What the Halloween fabrics? I know Debbie from Saturday Sewing likes the Halloween fabrics. They are awesome. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous parrot fabric here. It's absolutely stunning. Wow. It's going to send me squawkers. Absolute gorgeous fabrics here. My earthling would like the uh, Minecraft, goodness. And then that, the TARDIS. And then some of the comic characters. Awesome. And then some up there. Yeah. Look at this gorgeous fabric here as well. It's absolutely stunning. And then all this here. I think it's awesome. Fabrics there, look at that one. It's got tape measures all over it. Really, really like that. That's good. Okay, guys, so I am back home, and as you can see, I've got two little cooties. That's Honey Kai, I have to think there, and Lucy. Yes, and you might hear the squeaky cabies in the background. So, got a few purchases today. And the first store was definitely a thrifting store. So I've got a few bits and pieces there that I'm really, really pleased with and saved an absolute fortune. The other store that I went to was actually just a fabric store and they had some absolutely stunning fabrics as you've already watched. So I got a few little bits in there and one particular fabric I got for my teenage birthday. Also I haven't showed you guys what I'm wearing today. I have got my Ugg t-shirt on. You're my good girl. You're my good girl. Yes, you are. You're my good girl. Ah, oh, she's such a cutie pie. Okay, so what I'll do in a bit, either later today or, or this evening, uh, actually, or tomorrow, I will show you guys my purchases. Okay, catch you soon. Guys, it's the evening. It's about 1700. Sorry, I know, 7 o'clock. Okay, so this is the first fabric that I've got here. Beautiful toucan, cockatoo, I think that's it, Amazon parrot, macaw, absolutely beautiful fabric. It's quite a heavy weight, it's a 100% cotton. The second one that I got here, really, really cute, beautiful little birds on it. Again, that's 100% cotton as well. Also, you're gonna guess what this fabric and who it's for. My teenage earthling. I think that's very apt. He does like his games. He doesn't go on them too often because obviously 
I'll make sure there's a limit to it, but the games that he does go on, he really, really enjoys them. I have never, ever, ever seen this fabric before. I think the style is absolutely gorgeous. Look at those little ostriches. They're really, really cute. I've just never seen anything like that. And the same with this one here. Squirrels. I guess they're going to send me nuts as well because I have never seen that fabric before. It's absolutely beautiful. So all of these were 100% cotton. So in this one, I just got half a yard. And in this one, also half a yard. The game one was one yard. And the birdies there, one yard. And the same with this one, which was one yard. I also purchased this little fabric tape measure, so it's bias binding. So I'm sure I will find something really cute to stitch that to. And so at the actual thrift store, I purchased these stampers. I think that's really apt, as we like sewing. Well, I will think of a few things what I can do with that. So this little one here, you can see it there. So the actual store that I went into, again, I don't mean to be rude, because I'm not, but a lot of the stuff was quite sort of junky stuff. But to sort of rummage through so there's a junk, you can come across some really good treasures. So fabric, wow. So this one here is satiny silk, really quite lightweight. I might actually make an Ogden cameo out of that one. This one here, reminds you of taffeta, it's a bit scrunchy, but it's a really, really beautiful blue and there's quite a bit there and again it's all unmarked so although it was sort of quite a junky store I think they did check on the fabrics because I can't find any faults with them I got some really sort of cheap 100% cotton there and I'm going to use that for when I do muck ups because sometimes on some of the patterns that I want to create I do I don't do muck ups very often but on something that I need to again you want to sort of miss up on really cheap fabric you don't want to be missing up on your lovely um, lovely uh, fabric that you purchased and again this this is quite stiff as well and this is just slightly off blue but it's got a slight two-tone color to that again I'm not too sure what I will do with that I've got a few ideas but again it, it's quite stiff sort of like a taffety fabric but I'll think of a few ideas what I can do with that. Also while I was there I managed to pick up all these ribbons. This one here is a velvet one which is really really soft and again considering the straw had sort of quite a bunch of hmm you know chunky stuff in though in the sort of haberdashery it was really really lovely stuff. I'm losing the light a little bit here, so I'll have to be quick. So these are the other little purchases that I got. These few little pieces here. Some more bias binding. Quite narrow, these ones. And then this as well. Can you see that all okay? Also got these little... Buckles, I guess you would call them. So I, I will find a use for those. And this, I got a whole bunch of this. So it's the hook in eyes. I guess that's what you call the eyes, is it? And absolutely loads of it. So you can never quite have enough, can you? Now, the best part that I stumbled across, there was like a trunk with these really old vintage patterns in. So I've got them here. They are really lovely. So there's that one. I've got quite a few here. This one, unfortunately, got torn quite a bit. So I will try and repair it. And if I can't, then I think I'll do my best and put it in a frame. And this one, I think they're really, really nice. 
and then this one here as well so they're not all in my style but I mean I'm getting ideas from the pattern so I can then do a few hacks and tweaks but they're just a good idea and I like on modern pants I like sort of just the flat front with no fuss and perhaps a back or a side zipper and then I've got this pattern here I think that's really cute really love those pants there and I love that top you can see that okay there I like the little cross detail there so I'm sure I can find some funky fabrics and then this one again I like the little tie front detail there I think that's really really nice a couple more you can see this one here 60s style really really like that I mean my favourite era as you already know from my first bug is the 40s but I do like a few bits from the 50, uh, from the 60s as well and there's this one here I'm not so full with the frill there I would make perhaps just the plainer version of the dress but again I was really 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 happy really love stumbling across old patterns um, I've got some patterns that are actually a whole bunch older than these ones again let me know in the comments below if you know some good sites or come across some really really sort of turn of the century patterns because I really really like those okay so I'll catch you guys soon it's getting really dark in here okay I might catch you guys tomorrow if I'm going to do some sewing tomorrow I hope so all right have a good evening g'day everybody it's a new day so it's Thursday September 6th I have laid a few things out on the table that I want to do my best to try and sew actually all this week because I have a little bit more spare time despite everything that's going on I've you know got a few little bits of extra time to do some sewing so I want to click on and do that so what I'm wearing as you've seen in my first vlog and it's been sort of nicknamed the rainbow shirt and my um, teenage earthling has got his yellow shirt on that you've previously seen in the vlog so he's the sunshine I'm the rainbow let's hope that the rest of the day stays sunshine and rainbow okay I have got a pattern on a lovely blue and white lace that I've previously showed you guys in a different vlog I th this is not exactly what I'm going to do with this list this is just an idea okay and then moving over here again you've seen the overalls and I showed you this fabric that I got at the festival of quilts so hopefully I will get that done and then moving down here this is my self-drafted pattern pieces and the shirt I've just shown you the rainbow one the um, anglaise fabric I want to make same style but in that fabric and then over here you've seen the fabric the butterflies in the skirt it's panelled skirt that I made and again here um, not sure I think it's the green version and surprise oh so yeah surprise surprise look version C how is it every time I seem to want to do a pattern the version that I want to um, make up is usually C I don't know okay so I showed you this fabric so that's um, another shirt for my teenage earthling and obviously that's the little pile for a shirt there and then again this fabric it's got if I get the light right it's got slubs in it and I said in a previous vlog that I'd like some um, cigarette pants sort of based on the Audrey pants so I have quite a few things there and obviously bear in mind that I've still got to finish off that orange gingham which hang on if I pan over to that so I haven't made any progress since I last talked about it um, I mean rightly so I should finish that before starting something else 
but my mind, I have to think about this one. Um, and obviously some of the other makes I can just get on without thinking, but who knows. Yeah, so I'm now going to start cracking on because it's the later part of the morning. It is 11.35, so yeah, I'll check back you guys as uh, the day progresses, okay? Morning guys! As you can see, I have finished my make, which was the simple sew, this one. I did not make a dress version, I decided on pants and I'm really not happy with this. I don't know what it is, I've worked with Gingham before and I had the same trouble um, and it's just ever so slightly snug which you will see in the photographs after I've just filmed the segment. The top part, it's, it's quite baggy all around here and then I did a lovely feature on the back with ribbons and eyelets and it just doesn't hang properly um, I think some of the side panels they, they just need to be sort of made a little bit smaller just to get sort of the fit right and the gathers down here I don't know I followed the pattern perfectly um, but it, it's not hanging right and the front is actually lifting up so yeah I mean I I'll wear the pants even though they're a little bit snug and I know they're soften up with wear. Um, I was obviously going to stitch the top and the pants together. I'm actually glad I didn't do that because it's just saved a lot of work so that I don't need to detach the top. So the top and the pants are completely separate and thank goodness that they are. So I will go back to the drawing board I guess with the halter top. Um, so I've put, I've actually used bias binding for the neck because I ran out of red ribbon. Um, but on the back, when you've seen the pictures, it's red ribbon. Um, and then I use the yellow ribbon for the detail on the side of the pants, which I will now keep because obviously I don't need to change the ribbon on the pants, so I keep them separately. I don't think I would ever wear this together unless I can fix the halter neck top of it all. So yes, okay. I will insert some stills and I will do a little bit of filming but if I'm not happy with it, um, it's not going to wake the grey. Okay everybody, so this is the outfit. Not 100% happy, it's just a little bit tight around the hip area but it is starting to soften up slightly. As you can see here, I'll get a little bit closer. It's just this poofy, those gathers just do not work and somehow it's just pulling this band up and it's supposed to sit a bit more flatter. Um, obviously the nice detail that I did here try and zoom in so I'm going to keep that on the pants and then obviously around the back if you can see there all this gaping it's just not it's not how I like it so yeah so the top is definitely a fail unless I can sort out all the little issues it's just baggy up here and I think these gathers to be fair are kind of pulling everything like that making this rise up and that's why the pretty little eyelets at the back are not hanging correctly okay so it's a part fail um, I don't mind the pads what do you think pads are okay so okay I'll catch you in a bit Okay, so what I'm going to uh, sew up next after the shenanigans of the uh, orange outfit I've got changed so this is the top I think I've showed you guys before the little Beatrix Potter quacklings and then just thrown on my little minty cardigan and I've just got it teamed up with some 
comfy jeans. Okay, so I'm going to make the Macar's overalls, which I've shown you in my first vlog. And the fabric that I'm going to use is this one that I got from the Festival of Quilts. So it's quite light, as in the colour light. It's not too dark. Um, and then the weight of the fabric, mid-weight um, corduroy, is it? Yeah, so just feeling a bit disheartened at the moment, so I'm probably going to stuff this up. But anyway, hopefully as the day progresses, I'll get on with that. And hopefully if I remember to pick up the camera, I will show you along the way. Okay guys, as you can see, I have all my Macaws pattern pieces already out on the fabric, ready to cut. So it's the Macaws 7547. So, here we go. Pretty self-explanatory really, isn't it? So I get that all cut out and hopefully later on today we'll have a finished garment. Okay everybody, as you can see, I have made a little bit of a change, so on the straps I decided to put these buckles, and I think they work really really well. Nice big pocket, and I got a little hook and bar fastening here, and a zipper down there, and the pockets are really really good, and then nice deep pockets on my butt. <laughs> this is so comfortable, this fabric. So just a reminder, this is the fabric that I bought from Festival of Quilts. So yeah, all in all, the only thing I'm going to slightly do is just lengthen the shoulder straps because they're a little bit too sharp for me because I'm quite tall. And unfortunately, as I sort of go like that, then obviously <coughs> in that region, it's a little bit tight, shall we say. So all I need to do is lengthen those and then it will ever so slightly drop just a little smidge. So yeah, so I, I couldn't film last night, so I'm filming today. Hence, different t-shirt, which was what I thrifted a little while ago. So yeah, I'm really happy. They are so super comfy. So enjoy, catch you later. Okay guys, how are you? It's this afternoon, it is 10 after 2. I have my next little project already out on the cutting table. I have slightly altered the sleeve length in it, but kept the other pattern pieces the same. I just obviously might do a few tweaks with the darts as I go along. Okay, so as you've seen from the photographs and the footage about my overalls, what I forgot to mention is when I had cut out all the pieces to this, I searched every single raw edge. Reason being, it didn't actually fray, but it just like loads of fuzzies was coming off of it. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to search the whole lot because I didn't want later then any issues with the outfit because I know I'm going to be wearing this quite a lot so that was a bit mm, time consuming but at the end of the day it's all done and it's all neat um, and then obviously sewn up as the instructions say but I'm really really pleased and I really really like these details here just to be a little bit sort of off whack no harm in that Okay, so what I'll do in a moment, I will just pan over to show you guys what I'm doing. Guys, as you can see here, I've got this really, really beautiful 
lace that I've already shown you before and I got an idea for a top that I'd seen um, from Tanya's vlog Don't Dream It, Sew It and this time I actually remembered to link her this time um, she has some beautiful makes so as you can see from the new look pattern here see this t-shirt A very very basic t-shirt um, and like I just said I'm going to lengthen the sleeves and perhaps do a little a few more tweaks to it obviously there's just two basic darts there but I might just do something different so it won't look anything like that morning everybody it's September the 9th I to think then I haven't got a brain come Sundays go to mush okay and it's 11 o'clock so I will start off with what I'm wearing so if you recall I showed you this really pretty lace um, at the moment I've just put a little white slip underneath it um, for obvious reasons I must be completely scandalous <laughs> I don't want to scare away everybody um, but it's obviously given me an idea to make a blue one the one I'm wearing was store bought from quite a few years ago but to be fair I think it actually works quite well it kind of they sort of bounce off of each other so okay so what I did just a quick reminder the new look basic tea which was this one what I did I lowered the neckline a lot and as you can see I've made long sleeves I also French seamed every single seam when I come to hemming it I just used a zigzag stitch um, and then the neckline because I altered it quite a lot it actually sort of distorted this area so what I did I ran the widest width on my stitch length and then obviously pulled the thread strand and gathered it and it actually worked quite well so it actually gives it a little bit of extra detailing there so a happy accident I guess okay also I have here they're not quite finished again if you recall the fabric that I showed you it's got the little slubs in it so I've made some pants let's try and step back a little bit so they're all surged everywhere inside I just need to put a side zipper in they're going to be um, flat fronted as you can see and then it's got two little darts on the back so yeah they're not completely finished I'm afraid these were sort of the cigarette style pants that I was telling you about but actually I've done full length and they're a little bit wider so what I did is you recall the overalls from McCall's I used the um, pants pattern and obviously just folded my because I, I traced my patterns off so I folded it in so it's just a little bit narrower um, but actually they're still a little bit flared out um, but actually they look really really nice pretty cool so I think I'm gonna keep them like that and I still have a ton of fabric left over so if I want to make um, some sort of cigarette capri style pants then I've got the fabric to still do that okay so I showed you this in the little mini fabric haul that I got the other day and it was this really really beautiful blue fabric here it's quite scrunchy um, when I was going through all my bias binding all the trims and everything that I've got I came across this little bit of lace now I have an idea for that and do you think that works really really well doesn't it I was thinking for those of you that follow Angela Clayton I mean who doesn't she's absolutely exceptional again I try and remember to link her below in the comments uh, in description rather and I just love 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 her creations and obviously anything historical I absolutely adore and so I was thinking of quite a sort of a tight fitted bodice um, but I would probably end up just making one of my 
sort of basic nipped in shirts that you're probably sick of seeing or be talking about now um, but again I think it's just because it's comfortable in the sense when you do a pattern a few times and you can practically do it with your eyes closed you tend to sort of you don't deviate too much you just stick to what you know and how you can sew it and not only that um, you know it's quite straightforward so and I do like that style so that brings me to the embroidery anglaise that I showed you previously and again I've got my self-drafted pattern pieces that I kept there and again that is the style like I just mentioned for that fabric um, where it's sort of nipped in at the bust, short sleeves. Um, I didn't have time unfortunately this week to get that done so when I finish filming I think that's one of the first things that I'm going to crack on and start sewing up and again which you've seen so this fabric came from uh, the lovely jubbly fabrics um, she has an online store and again these two fabrics that I previously have shown you the orange and red and that's going to be for my teenage earthling I'm going to do something a little bit different again you're probably fed up with the teenage earthling shirts but he needed a few more shirts um, and that's two more or three more that I'm going to get out of these fabrics here so they are the makes that I want to crack on and start doing this week as you know, the overalls that I showed you guys yesterday, oh, they were so super comfy and I just wanted to wear them again today. But obviously I needed to show you guys this little lace top. I've just got it, I don't know if you can see, oh, just teamed up with a pair of my jeans. Um, it's just going to be slumping around the house today and sewing. I mean, what a better way to spend a Sunday um, just stitching. So get all my little creations done so obviously you'll have something for next week to watch also i was tagged by the lovely carla from stay stiction if you guys want to check her out she's pretty awesome and i haven't had time to do the tag but i have let her know that i am going to be doing it and like i said previously in i think the vlog before last um, I don't have a husband, so I'm going to get my teenage earthling to do it. So he's got to obviously choose a pattern and choose the fabric, and obviously I have to sew it all up. But I mean, if you want to go over and check Kyla's uh, videos out, feel, feel free to do that. Um, and then you can sit through and listen to what the tag all involves. So hopefully this week I will get that done. Um, I wanted to film outside today in a garden because it's really really lovely um it was pretty much sort of a chores morning this morning so done all my laundry and sort of just a quick tidy up because as i'm sure you guys know when you start sort of spreading around everywhere with all your sewing bits and pieces and you know ironing board out cutting table and mine's obviously doubled up as the uh, a uh, table that I eat from. However, I did purchase a table, especially just for cutting out, but haven't as yet done that. So yes, had a bit of a, a tidy up. I don't know why I do, because obviously it's all going to be chaos again, but it's my creative chaos. So all there is for me to say is, again, thank you so much for subscribing. And those of you that have not yet subscribed, please feel free to subscribe so you can obviously keep following my sewing journey and obviously hit a like button if you like the videos that you watch so again thank you so much for your support i really really appreciate that so have a wonderful week again let me know in the comments what you're sewing because i am genuinely genuinely interested in what everybody else sews um and again i follow a few people and it's just lovely their creations um I don't sort of have one particular style, I like all sorts of style, which which can be sometimes a good thing or a bad thing, I mean it obviously opens a lot more options, because sometimes we look at a style and think, oh I'm not sure if we would do that, but if you give it a go, you'd be surprised and you think, ah, oh, I'm glad I made that. So I might also do a video 
soon about getting to know me and I'll call it getting to show me um, yeah so a few, few ideas yet to come so please stay tuned and again thank you thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video have a fantastic week look after yourself and don't forget stitch up a storm <laughs>